Greetings, I, the War Owl, greets you, and I'm going to be showing you here a fun little game mode we came up with while we were playing inside of our live stream. So we're doing our subscriber games, we like to play around with the server settings, do some, like, low gravity sort of stuff, no friction, like a frictionless vacuum sort of a thing. And uh, we came up with this as kind of really a fun way to play the game. So as you notice, we've turned the round timer down to 45 seconds. Seems very low. And we changed the bomb timer to 25 seconds to compensate. So what happens is we have very fast bomb site takes. There's no fake outs that are really possible. Uh, we tried it a few times. It actually worked a little bit. You could fake like once and that's it. But uh, it's pretty much just go, 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 take the bomb site as fast as possible. And because of that, we, we kind of came up with the name Rush Mode. Just because pretty much every single round is going to be a rush. It's very high-paced, high-action sort of gameplay. Um, sort of like you mix the good elements of Call of Duty. Yes, you heard me say good elements of Call of Duty. And put them into Counter-Strike. The other thing it accomplishes is that you have a lot of bomb site takes. So you have a little bit more practice every single round in terms of actually uh, breaching into the site, throwing the proper smokes and flashes, as well as retakes. So, retakes are also really fast because of that 25 second bomb timer. Now think about that. In matchmaking, the bomb timer is, I believe, 45 seconds. In normal uh, third party competitive type modes, it's going to be 35 seconds. So played at the professional level, it's 35 seconds. We put it at 25 seconds, so there's no time to wait. This game mode's a lot of fun because there's action pretty much constantly. When you're dead, you're not dead for very long. You're going to be back, like, right away, pretty much. And the bomb site takes... You have to go for it. You're going to be running through smokes a lot. You're going to be running through flashes. It's a lot, really chaotic. Uh, it's quite, quite a lovely mess. So I'm going to be showing you here some gameplay that we recorded. So we reached out to some of the outlets and we said, hey guys, let's just play this rush mode. Let's have some fun with it and we'll make a video out of it. So these guys kind of showed up here. We got a few people uh, who you may actually recognize, like Yui there, who if you watch my live stream, he's around uh, quite a bit. That Nox guy, Jung... Um, lots, lots of names you recognize. Bacon, bacon wrap. Yeah, so it was really good. It was fun. We had a good time. Um, I know I have a tendency to take these things a little bit too seriously uh, and get a little bit ragey, as you'll hear in a bit. And we'll, we'll sort of let you listen to what the comms sound like and this sort of a thing. So I was just like, I'll, you know what? I'll show you the commands you have to use to set up your server like this. So if you run a 10-man sort of thing and you want to try and set up your server to use this game mode and have some fun with it, um, you can do that. So we'll, through the magic of editing, we're going to make that pop up on your screen right now. So there it is. Those are the, uh, the settings. It's really simple. 45 second round timer, 25 second bomb timer, and then we do a best of 20 so that it's not so long. Best of 20 is pretty good. That's actually what they use inside of casual mode. And this is a little bit more of a casual way to play. It's a very fast paced way to play. Um, well, I was talking about the good elements of Call of Duty. Mix it in with the tactical elements of Counter-Strike, and we get our little fun little rush mode. Just three simple commands. I threw in the hostage mode command. Um, just in, I, I don't, we haven't tried it out in hostage mode, uh, so I wouldn't know how that would go. I think it would be quite terrible, but <laughs> you could try that out yourselves if you wanted. I guess we could try that out sometime on the live stream. That should be fun. But yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do is use those three commands on top of a competitive game mode, and you'll be able to play with it. Really simple stuff. Now, what I'm showing you here is just some footage of some of the maps that we played. And the maps we found that it works really well on, and the ones we're sharing are uh, Dust 2. It works really well on Dust 2. Uh, it works really well on Cash, which will be the second one we go to and just show some footage of it here. And it works really well on Mirage was another one. Now, it seems like this would be a very CT-sided mode. And I say that because you're going to be running through smokes. Go, like You have to charge into B. It's going to be really difficult. Um, one of the maps where I don't think it works very well is Inferno, but you could try it out and see how it works. Retakes are a little bit more difficult on Inferno, and just taking the site itself is a little bit more difficult. So I think Inferno would probably go CT-sided quite a bit. The other one that doesn't really work on is Nuke, and I think that one's for obvious reasons. I thought Nuke could have been really interesting, but when we tried it out, I don't know, it just wasn't very fun. So the footage there is hopping over to Cash now. Cash worked really well with this mode. And I think Cache is a pretty well-designed map for, for sort of the rushy sort of stuff. Like, let's go A or let's go B and that sort of a thing. It, it would probably work well on Season too, but we haven't tried that. Now, one of the negatives, I would say, to playing modes like this, and it's not really a big deal, is that it'll screw up your, your mindset when you hop back into competitive. Because you'll be like, alright guys, let's go A, we need to go, push in, run through the smoke! And you'll just focus on just like, let's go A and let's go B strategies instead of actually playing the game like how it's supposed to be played. But again, that sort of highlights, I think, one of the problems right now with CSGO. It's been designed and it's been catered toward 5v5 competitive 
and in pretty much every single aspect. And I think gearing it more towards just a, a, a way that people can have fun playing a game with great mechanics, uh, well-designed maps, and pretty much everything that we want in an FPS, uh, I, I really think that the game modes and the ways that you can play this game should be expanded a bit instead of just having everybody focus on 5v5 competitive because at the end of the day I've seen a lot of people get burned out big time and sometimes it's good to just relax and have fun with friends on a different type of game mode because you play 5v5 competitive all the time you start yelling at your friends, you get mad, you get mad baby video games are supposed to be fun, right? I, I really enjoy the competitive aspect of the game, obviously, that's what I focus on for the most part. But I think for a game to survive uh, in the long term, it really needs to have that casual, and I don't, I don't mean casual in a bad way, like 360 no scope, Call of Duty, MLG, casual, that's not what I mean. I mean, just having fun with friends, like how Counter-Strike used to be back in ye olden days. Yeah, back in my day. Counter-Strike was about playing on a, a community server with, with people you knew in a fun game mode like you got your zombie escapes and your Warcraft 3s and you... And back in those days, we had 32 men playing on Dust 2. And we was better for it. I don't know why I yearn for the, the old days. Now, I think one of the other games we could look at as an example of this is StarCraft 2. StarCraft 2 is probably, I would say, one of the most competitive games that I've ever seen. Such a high skill level, great feats of individual skill. I'm always impressed by watching StarCraft. And StarCraft 2 is really, and we have to admit this, it's gone downhill big time in terms of the viewership, in terms of the people playing it. And I think a lot that it has to do with that is the focus on uh, the 5v5 competitive. Now, get this, StarCraft 2 actually has the unranked matchmaking, the unranked 1v1s, which I think Counter-Strike could really benefit from having. Like, get rid of casual mode, um, turn competitive mode into an actual competitive mode, and then have casual mode be, or have like an unranked matchmaking thing. And then of course expand the number of game modes and the number of ways that you can play the game. And uh, you know, I know that there are a lot of arguments that say, well that already exists through the server browser. The servers exist, but we all know that the consumer, the person playing the game, the player, will take the path of least resistance for the most part. And the path of least resistance is it being integrated into the game UI itself. And that's just sort of a little idea I had. Obviously, that doesn't apply to this. This is just a fun little thing that we came up with. I hope you enjoy the footage. Uh, this last little bit here is Yui. We're going to watch Yui here do this excellent pistol round game. And we had a lot of fun playing it. Thank you, folks, very much for watching this video. We're going to end it here with Yui's thrilling heroics. He's going to love that he's in a video like this. He's going to love this. Well, that look, that... Okay, so that, that's bad. Now there's some fun. Look at that, look at that. They both pull out the knives and they just go at each other. That's fun. They're having a good time. They're grappling. They're making it. That, that was me who just died there, by the way. I just got one tapped. My goodness. All right, well, thank you folks very much for watching. I am the War Owl, and I still have no closer. Right, mate, let's go, let's go, let's go. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Plant it, plant it, plant it now. Come on, come on, I come am. on. Cover me. I hear him coming. I covered you. What the heck? I can't move. Kill me. What is? He said cover me. That's not what that means.